The situation in the Indo-Pacific region is tense. The United States and the Philippines began a joint military exercise on the 3rd, involving more than 2,500 soldiers. The military exercise is seen as targeting China due to recent disputes over the South China Sea and the tense situation in the Taiwan Strait. The situation in the Indo-Pacific region has attracted international attention. The United States and the Philippines launched a joint military exercise codenamed Kamadog on the 3rd. This is the largest military exercise since new Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. took office. The two countries dispatched more than 2,500 Marine Corps troops combined. This joint military exercise is also seen as targeting China due to recent disputes over sovereignty in the South China Sea and tensions in the Taiwan Strait. This year's Kamandag 06-2022 intends to enhance the bilateral cooperation and interoperability. We must always ensure we're ready when our nations need us. Our efforts together during this exercise will help us do exactly that. The Japanese Self-Defense Forces and the South Korean Marine Corps also joined this exercise as observers. The U.S.-Philippines exercise is being held in parallel with U.S.-Japan combat exercises in Hokkaido. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin said in a previous media interview that he did not think China would immediately invade Taiwan, but was trying to establish a new normal. Taiwan National Defense Minister Cho Kuo-jin stressed that the military's combat preparations will not slow down. Deputy Defense Minister Wang Xinglong, who was participating in the U.S.-Taiwan Defense Industry Conference in the U.S., said in an interview that the participants had a consensus on the situation in the Taiwan Strait. He also sincerely expressed the obstacles Taiwan encountered in arms purchases and explained the current risks as the U.S. is willing to fully assist Taiwan.